Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tosh Talks. I am Tosh, and I'm talking, and I used to do the show on a regular basis about a year ago, then I stopped for mysterious reasons. I'm very temperamental, and I, um, I was in a bad mood for a while, and I had to stop it. But I became, I became a different person. I became sort of more professional. I went around the world a couple of times, lost a fortune, gained a fortune, but I'm back. I'm back here, and I'm back here entertaining you. Well, that's questionable, but I'm back otherwise. Um, I've been focusing on publishing for the past uh, 12 months, and I want to talk to you uh, about uh, what I've been working on and what I've finished. And this is my latest project, what I have in my hands. It's called In the Words of Sparks, Selected Lyrics, edited by Ron Mel and Russell Mel, uh, with a beautiful introduction by Morrissey and this is my first time as a publisher to work with living artists because usually I, I've, I've, I've published uh, works of Serge Gainsborough and Boris Vian and usually always like French related uh, uh, subject matters or, um, um, uh, or French writers translating to English. This is the first time I actually worked with people who are actually alive, which is totally new to me, and two, uh, people who are well known in another field, which is music. Sparks, if you don't know this by now, is without a doubt, or beyond a doubt, or under a doubt, is the greatest band ever. For sure in America, the best. There's nothing better than Sparks in America. And without question, my guests are probably the best music unit in Europe, Japan, South Korea, North Korea, Africa, whatever. Um, I've been intrigued with Sparks as, their, as a band, as, as, for of their music, with their, uh, ever since uh, I heard Come On To My House in 1974. And is this one of the things where I just played the first note of uh, this town ain't big enough for both of us, and I was totally like overwhelmed with. Um, um, I felt like I entered a new world that I'd never been to before. It just it was totally new to me, and um, ever since I heard that first note of that record, I've been pretty much a lifetime fan. And I wrote a book called Sparks Tastic about my experiences of seeing them in London doing their 21 shows for 21 albums. And I'll talk about that later. But um, I proposed to them, as a publisher of Tam Tam Books, to do a book of their lyrics because I felt that their literary side of their music was not fully exposed as it should be. Because I think the lyrics of Ron Mel and Russell Mel um, are quite important and quite prominent and without a doubt, again that word doubt, without a doubt, as important as say as Ira Gershwin, Cole Porter, Stephen Sondheim, um, uh, Lorenz Hart, uh, I find Ron Mel's and Russell Mel's work in, in tune, almost like the classic American songbook um, generation of people you know, from Broadway in the popular song. I think Sparks are just as great as those people but also, I think they belong to that same group. This is my personal take. I mean, I don't know how Ron Russell feel about this, but that's how I feel about Sparks and their music, specifically their um, their lyrics. And um, putting their lyrics in a book format forces one uh, forces kind of a nasty word, isn't it? Uh, it it makes one look at their work or their music in a slightly different light. And um, I was just totally knocked out. Well, Ron and Russell selected 76 songs, or 76 uh, lyrics for this particular book. And what makes this unique is this is their personal choices for what should be in the book. But also that, there's also, um, throughout the book, there is um, handwritten uh, notes made by uh, Ron. And... Um, and basically, uh, um, the original uh, handwritten lyrics to his songs, which is all throughout the book. So it gives us sort of like a personal, not a diary, but you almost can feel like you can read 
or you're like looking over Ron's shoulder as he's writing these lyrics down. You know, like this is particularly is Happy Hunting Ground, a great early spark song from I think Propaganda, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which is a great Sparks album. And uh, Morrissey wrote this brilliant, fantastic introduction to the book. Uh, heartfelt, smart, very Morrissey-like. Um, and I'm, I mean, it's almost like a dream to have two artists, and I think Sparks is one artist, though it's Ron and Russell, and Morrissey, you know, working on the same book, it's just, you know, how lucky can I be? And um, it's, just, you know, it's just amazing. Uh, this is a, um, a double sheet for uh, the Spark Song Slow Boat and No More Mr. Nice Guys. And uh, I know you can't see it that well, but I'm just giving you an idea what it is, what it looks like slightly. And um, so the book starts with uh, Falling in Love with Myself Again, which is from Come On My House. And the last song is um, um, I Married Myself. And between those two songs, I feel like you're going on an incredible journey of sparks. You know, what they chose, what, what the lyrics they chose. And um, if I may, I'm just going to give you a couple examples. I'm going to read some, or a couple of their works. Um, keep in mind, I'm not a terrible reader. Well, it's obvious. I mean, you, you, if anybody wants to show you know how kind of bad I am. And, um, and I'm, okay, I'm going to try and, okay. I have all the songs indexed, so you can find the songs right away. So this is like one of my favorites, and I'm just going to read this. It's called um, A Walk Down Memory Lane. <coughs> Let me move back some of my um, orange juice. <coughs> we all expected champagne, but it never did come. But it, it never did come. We said, hey, where's our champagne? And they gave us a gun said to go and have fun. So many riches this out of reach, coming attractions washed up on the beach. Oh yeah. Let's take a walk, a walk down memory lane, past the signs of the times. They lit our little way and decide what it is that made it all this way and decide who it is that might make it okay. The sun bears down on the man with a girl on his arm She's a victim of charm. She thinks, Sinatra, the man, think of him as you walk. Think of him as you talk. So many riches this out of reach. Coming attractions washed up on the beach. Oh yeah. Let's take a walk, a walk down memory lane, past the signs of the times that lit our little way and decide what it is that made it all this way. And decide who it is that might make it okay. They say in 10 million years that the sun burn out and that be that. She drinks a couple of beers, takes a look at the sun. She would love to see that. So many riches just out of reach. Coming attractions washed up on the beach. Oh yeah. Let's take a walk. A walk down memory lane, past the signs of the times that lit our little way and decide what it is that made it all this way, and decide who it is that might make it okay. So, I mean, that's a, a, I, I just love the imagery of, of, of their work. I think that it's, it's, when you hear like a, a classic Spark song, an image comes to mind. And when you listen with the music and the production of their records, that's another sort of uh, uh, platform. But when you strip the music away, distill that beauty of their music. And if you're a Sparks fan, you read the lyrics, you hear the melody in your ears. But also, if you're not familiar with their music, you still get an incredible amount of enjoyment of looking at this book because, or reading this book, because their work is so um, exceptionally, you know, like this fantastic. And, and, and it, you know, it's, just, it's, uh, um, it's amazing, it's amazing. Um, I mean, I can't believe they've been around for like almost 40 years and they're still making incredible music to this day. They never stop. And um, there's an amazing band. I love them. And I'm so happy to be part of this book or being helping produce this book. Anyway, um, welcome back to Tosh Talks. And I'll be back some more talking about other projects and other books that I admire as well as other things. So in the words of Sparks, selected lyrics edited by Ron Mill and Russell Mill, known as Sparks, a beautiful introduction by Morrissey, 
the book will be available in September and uh, I'll be talking to you very shortly again. Take care. Bye-bye.